Hey there, what's going on? My name is Jelena from jelenasrosko.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorite podcasts that I'm listening to right now. So I haven't listened to them like in quite a while and I was kind of resistant to listening to podcasts and everyone around me was like, Jelena, you gotta listen to that and you gotta listen to this. And I was like, now it's, it's time to actually listen to them and I, from my perspective, like it's really like one of the best times that I can spend. Let's say like... I'm not listening to podcasts all day long, obviously, but when you are doing some of the activities that you are not, when when you are not like uh, when you don't need to read something or you don't need to listen to something, like especially like here's an example: when I do videos, obviously I don't listen to podcasts. When I write a blog post, I don't listen to podcasts because I have to be really focused. Uh, when I watch a webinar, I'm not listening to podcasts, and when I'm reading a book, I'm not listening to a podcast because I cannot consume two <laughs> two different types of information at the same time. Uh, probably something to work on, I don't know. However, when I do something like, I don't know, if I do something at home or I do, I don't know, I don't know, anything. Like, if I, if I just, you know, plan my schedule, like, for the next couple of weeks, or if I'm just, you know, brainstorming some content ideas, or if I just, uh, if I'm following up with my leads, if I'm chatting with people on Facebook, if I am, I don't know, if I'm sending an email to my list, if I'm cutting videos, if I do some, like, admin stuff, admin work, then, like, which doesn't require me to be really focused on something, and I just can listen to podcasts and kind of absorb the information into my brain. So in this video I want to share like a couple of podcasts that I'm listening to. There are so many and you know so that people don't ask me all the time which ones do you listen to. I think that's like the one of the lever most leveraged activities that I can do. So listen up. So I'm gonna go in through the phone the, through, the, through the podcast. So uh, number one is the Home Business Profits with Ray Higdon. Uh, it's like a short one if you're in the network marketing, in the home business industry, like Ray always like answers questions that he gets on Twitter. Uh, you can ask his uh, like him questions on Twitter as well. Uh, so these are like short ones, like three, anywhere from three to seven minutes or something like this, uh, really short audios that you can listen to. Sometimes I, re I even get content ideas from there, which I can turn into a video like this or into a blog post or into both. Another one that I listen to is uh, MLSP Wake Up Calls. I don't get to be on their on them live, but I do listen to the recording. That's an attraction uh, marketing platform that I'm a part of, and they do them like Monday through Friday, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can find them Mylot System Pro Wake Up Call podcast, and you can find them on on any app that you are using. Also, I have I have like I'm really guilty guilty of not listening to this one. Uh, the Self-Made Man by uh, Mike Dillard. He's the attraction marketing godfather. That's how people call him in the industry. He's the author of Magnetic Sponsoring, a very, like, hands down one of the best books on attraction marketing and how to build your business on the internet. And he's bringing a lot of different types of guests into his show. And a lot of the people who are not typically interviewed by, by anyone. So there are, like... Diff people from different kind of different types of industries. There's like I know that he interviewed uh, Com Mirza. He's like half billion dollar man. Um, so a lot of different caliber of people. And what I like the most about those podcasts and interviews is that um, the hosts actually they bring different types of people. You know from the entrepreneurship industry, and you kind of get to they ask them questions and sometimes they ask questions that audience is interested in. And what's cool about it is, you know, you kind of get to, um, like, sneak into their heads and uh, get to kind of understand how they think and how they answer to the questions, how they react and things like that. So it's really awesome to kind of, like, go behind the scenes, should I say, and to see how they actually think. So another one that I listened to, Daily Home Business Motivation with Mark Harbert. Uh, that's another one, great one. I haven't listened to it in a while, but I will get back to it. Uh, the Charged Life with Brandon Bouchard, like everything that Brandon Bouchard does, like I had just ordered one of his books, <laughs> like it's the third one that I ordered. And right now I'm listening to, reading to the Motivation Manifesto. I also have his uh, book called um, the, the Millionaire Messenger. And another one that I ordered is The Charge. 
So this is the charge life. It's really like they are really short. They're like 15 minutes like on average. And he's bringing up different topics, like the, uh, one of them that, that I listened to, three types of friends that you have in life. It was really like, you know, really eye-opening what he's sharing, like all the stuff that Brandon does, you know, just follow him. Um, another one that I listened to, it's quite a brand new one. It's with uh, Norbert Orlovitz, Online Playmaker Sessions. So he's bringing a lot of guests into his podcast, uh, from the internet marketing industry and different types of leaders, some of them like who are in the industry for quite a while, some of them are just getting started and the rising stars and it's really great to like, especially if you're into internet marketing industry, into network marketing, MLM, uh, you're going to find it really, really valuable. Another one, it's actually, it's a show, uh, like a video show, like online show that uh, Princess Fizz is hosting. Uh, she's doing them quite often, uh, depending on like you know her schedule and how how she can bring people on and when uh, do people have time to get on. Uh, I have a dream show. Uh, that's how it's called. You can find it on um, like on your phone and listen to. She she's actually turning them into podcasts. Uh, that's what I like about you know these uh, like TV, like kind of TV shows uh, for entrepreneurs and the like the the hosts are really you know looking how to leverage their content that's what I like the most about and they are turning it into podcasts so because I don't like to sit uh, glued to my com computer listening to all of this um, uh, watching to actual all of the interviews and videos but, but I just prefer listening to them because I don't have to kind of watch them I just can listen to them um, another one that I can highly highly recommend to you I just recently uh, came across this guy Lewis House. I'm pretty sure like, you know, if you're into entrepreneurship, you may have already heard about him. Uh, he has like a really popular book that's, uh, I think it came out quite recently, probably this year, The School of Greatness, and that's how the podcast is also called, The School of Greatness. He's also bringing up a lot of different guests. Uh, I listened to the interview that he did with Grant Cardone, and Grant also brought him uh, to his show, and... Like the, he's always like bringing people and he is talking about how to turn your passions into your kind of uh, into like into entrepreneurship and how you can monetize your passions basically and how to be great and all of those types of things. Um, like I'm the, I'm the, another, another like series of, of podcasts that I'm listening to right now. I'm a big fan of Grant Cardone. I'm, I'm reading to his book, his book right now, The 10X Rule. And he has like several like different shows, like wherever you go, he's there, like he's everywhere. So I have uh, a couple of his podcasts. Uh, one of them is Cardone Zone. Uh, another one is Young Hustlers. It's like, it's really obvious, like I'm 20 years old. That's why I decided to listen to it because I'm young. And even if you're not young, I mean, just listen to it. The, the, the show is really, really great. One of his co-workers is actually hosting it. Uh, so I listened to a couple of episodes. Another one is Power Players. So this kind of like interview and they are about, I don't know, 40, 40 minutes or an hour long. So he's bringing different guests into the show from the entrepreneurship, from, um, from online marketing, from all of those, you know, different types of, from real estate, different niches. Uh, another one, Confessions of an Entrepreneur. I was listening to the one that he did with uh, Dan Pena. He's known as a $50 billion man. So it's like really great one. Uh, Dan Pena is like really crazy guy but you know some someone to really learn from uh another one uh that grant is hosting with uh his wife with elena cardone uh the g and e show and it, like i said it's also like a video show but I, I prefer to listen to them and they're hosting it together they're discussing different topics they're taking calls from people live answering questions and to the topic is always different and another one that uh, Elena Cardone herself has is Women in Power. If you're a guy, you may not want to listen to that one. But if you're uh, a woman, uh, then by all means, listen to the to that podcast. And like she, like it's really like really short. She's hosting with one of her friends. Uh, they are typically about thirty minutes on average long, and like she's discussing different topics like women in entrepreneurship and things like that, how to combine different things like the, the relationships and you know all kinds of different things that women are interested in. So that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have like any of the podcasts that you love listening to, by all means, comment below this video. If you're seeing this on YouTube or if you're seeing this on, uh, on my blog, comment below and leave me your thoughts. Which ones of those are you listening to yourself? 
uh, if you have some common interests, that's that's awesome. Uh, and anyways, just comment below and let me know which podcast you are listening to, so I can listen to them too. Because I'm like I'm a podcast addict, addict right now, and I just love listening to podcasts. And if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and share. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.